you. Well, clearly this is the season of change and the weather's playing its part as well. What we have at the moment is a bank of rain moving south across England. Some very strong winds here, followed in turn by clearer showery weather as the night goes on. So to begin with, winds gusting to 40 or 50 miles an hour across the southeastern parts of Britain. Then a slight lull in the wind, though it's still going to be pretty brisk right the way through the night. And then picking up again during Friday, west to northwesterly winds increasing to gale force once again around those western headlands. And incidentally, those showers coming across the country tomorrow also will have some very, very strong gusts connected to them as well. It's already turning a bit clearer now, very showery still across Northern Ireland and the bulk of Scotland. The more persistent rain fragmenting and narrowing as it comes south across Wales and into northern and western parts of England through the western Midlands. Well, that band of rain slipping away southeast was clear in Kent around about midnight, I would think. And then many eastern parts having a fine second end to the night. Still be some showers out in the west, though, some heavy ones too, especially across the north and west of Scotland, coming in across Northern Ireland, perhaps through the Irish Sea. And certainly the odd rumble of thunder can't be ruled out tonight. But with the wind staying pretty strong, temperatures should stay at about 6 or 7 degrees. Well, there's the chart for tomorrow. There's always a chance that the showers will merge to give a longer spell of rain in some areas. It shouldn't last that long, really, with the wind being pretty strong everywhere. Certainly some bright weather first thing, where you've got shelter from the west wind, some sunshine around, indeed there'll be some sunshine between the showers right the way through the day. But already a crop of them around in the north and west of the country, first thing in the morning, a few having got across the central parts too. And those showers becoming more widespread once we get through to the afternoon, and certainly some thunder from time to time. Top temperature, well, only 12 or 13 degrees across Scotland and Northern Ireland, nearer 13 or 15 further south, and the odd spot in the southeastern corner there could reach 16 or 17 with a bit of luck. A very showery scene once again on Saturday as well. Perhaps not so many showers eventually over central and western parts, but certainly a lot of showers first thing. The heavier ones continuing in the north and down through eastern parts of England. Again, windy, up to gale force perhaps within the northeast of Scotland, but temperatures still woefully low actually in that strong wind, 11 to 13 degrees typically. A few places in the south reaching about 15, that's just 59 Fahrenheit. Perhaps a better day for southern parts of Britain on Sunday, the wind beginning to ease down with some outbreaks of rain spreading across Scotland. And that's it from me for now.